Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today, we're talking this guy. The whiny ginger is back in the news, so we're here to talk about it. Just want to say a huge thank you to all the new subscribers. I'm so glad you're here and you found me. Be sure to spread the videos around, share them, whatever you got to do, trying to grow this channel. And thank you to everybody who stuck with me from the beginning. I really appreciate it. I put it out in the last video that if I can make it work out, I would really like to go to the coronation. I'd like to get the crowd reactions. I'd like to see if these two show up. I'd just like to talk about it all and get it on video and talk about it with you guys and share what I can see and find. So if you want to further support, I set up a tip jar. It's at ko-fi.com. Real Housewives Recaps. The reason I use them is because they don't keep any of the tip. It actually goes straight to me and I will put that straight toward going to cover the coronation. So a huge thank you to those who have already given. I really appreciate it. If you're interested, go to this link here and check it out. Thank you so much. Let's dive into this. Here we have again another changing of the narrative with Prince Harry this time and this is where he now says that he never heard the word therapy in the royal family. Um, well I have two words to say to you Harry which is heads together. Um, I, I, I really just I, I find it quite bemusing now and, it, and it's almost coming across quite sad that this man it, it does he not understand the, the media? Does he not understand that things are there for the whole world to, to Google, to research when he makes these statements where he says something like this? Literally in 2016, he worked with his brother and his sister-in-law with Heads Together, which was working with multiple organisations and charities that were connected to mental health. They coined the hashtag Just Ask because it was important to reach out and ask for help. And then in 2019, they then all sat on stage talking about Shout, which was a crisis uh, text um, organisation, which helped anyone that was going through something to be able to text and get some support and help. There have been various times when the royal family have been connected to mental health. In fact, you know, more so than than not lately, but they, they've they always been that way. You know, maybe not when he was younger because it wasn't as... as I guess, acceptable as what it is now. But he certainly has gone through his own therapy, albeit that he behaves as if he hasn't. Harry, honey, I know, I know you always have a place for your family and your heart. But after the stuff that you and Megan did, especially with the documentary, all the tea you dropped, plus the memoir coming out, which I will be reading next week, you think that they're going to want to come back? Like, I, I, I know. Listen. I wasn't being thrown to the wolves. I was being fed to the wolves. They were happy to lie to protect my brother. They were never willing to tell the truth to protect us. The palace never protected us. That's what Harry and Meghan have been telling us since they left three years ago. The palace never stood up for them or protected them, pushed back on the lies of the tabloids, never told the truth on their behalf. How factual is this statement? In November of 2016, when news of their relationship broke, KP took the unprecedented step of putting out a statement about the harassment Meghan was receiving. It was released to the press and put on their Twitter account. A week after that, Prince William put out his own statement in support of their relationship. Papers had said William wasn't supportive of Harry's decision to release anything, so this nailed home the message of support between the brothers. Finding Freedom, the book written with the cooperation of Meghan and Harry themselves, details that a pap in Jamaica got very inappropriate photos of them on their balcony. Harry told the palace to make sure they did everything to make sure those photos never saw the light of day and they did their job and protected her. Okay, dead ass, this one's pretty funny. In September of 2018, a random mass reporter claimed that she saw Meghan walking her dog outside of BP and posted the pic of Meghan to Twitter. 
Q stupid headlines, many coming from US sources like TMZ. A palace source flatly denied it. They usually don't touch stories like this because denying that someone's dog took a dookie is beneath them, but they did deny it for Megan. Well, 2018 began with H&M seeing quite a few people quitting their employees, stories about Megan and Princess Catherine feuding behind closed doors, etc. Public facing though, Catherine was nothing but gracious, telling the public she was excited for Meg's baby and for their little cousins to play. But that was not enough. December 3rd of that year, a story said that Princess Catherine had smacked down Megan for speaking to her staff rudely. KP released a statement on the record definitively saying this never happened, nor was there a feud happening. Now, the workplace complaint filed in 2018, which came to light in 2021, does lend validity to the rumors, but KP did deny the story on the record for Megan's benefit. They protected her. We have now Harry complaining on ITV that he wants his brother back. He wants his father back. This same brother he just finished trashing, saying that he bullied him out of his family. That he's a bully, he's an abusive, and a racist. And that his father cut him off financially and wants nothing to do with him. That they trashed him and that they leak information and that they treat him badly. So why would he want these people back in his life if they're bullies, abusive, and does that make any sense to you? Or feed or have a conversation with the correspondent. And that correspondent will literally be spoon-fed information and write the story. And then at the bottom of it, they will say that they've reached out to Buckingham Palace for comment. And once again, Harry is speaking from experience because here Dan Wooten is laying it all out. And the thing is, this isn't about planting stories. That's wrong journalists who have stories speak to the courtiers at the palace. Usually those courtiers, if they knew you had an accurate story, would do what any good PR professional usually does, and that is try and shape the story with the other side. And so I was more than happy when I had the story of Megxit to hear what Harry and Meghan had to say about it. And actually what they had to say uh, was fascinating. They briefed me. Uh, via their communication secretary. And that correspondent will literally be spoon-fed information and write the story. And then at the bottom of it, they will say that they've reached out to Buckingham Palace for comment. So when we're being told for the last six years, we can't put a statement out to protect you. You see how manipulative Harry is right there? He's saying six years to make the American public think that this has been going on forever, when in actuality, the moment that Meghan entered into the family and then left was little less than three years. So what are you talking about, Harry? Oh my goodness. I had so much fun making this one. I really did. It's nice to get my thoughts out there and to communicate with you guys exactly how I'm feeling while sharing the TikToks. I have so many of you reaching out saying how much you enjoy them and that you don't have access to them. So I'm so glad that I can provide that. Thank you for all the love and support. It really means the whole wide world to me. I appreciate it. Again, I ask you kindly, if you are interested in seeing the coronation, let me know in the comments just so I have a rough idea if that's something you guys want to do. And if you want to further support the show, check out that KO-FI coffee, I believe it's pronounced, coffee, and it's backslash Real Housewives Recaps, where you can leave a tip that would go toward that trip. The other way to support the show is check out my Patreon, patreon.com backslash Real Housewives Recaps. That's where I do deep dives on things like Sex in the City. I go episode by episode and have a lot of fun over there. So check that out. Guys, thanks for everything. I really appreciate it. And thanks for hitting that sub button. And I will talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.